Hi there, um, this video comes with some exercise files and a cheat sheet for Photoshop. Uh, there'll be a link in the description for those. Okay, it's part of my larger course, which you can go and check out. There'll be a link there as well. Um, all right, enjoy the video. Hi there, in this video, we are going to get the model here to interact with a type, kind of weaving in, front, back. It's super popular at the moment. Let's look how to do it in Photoshop now. Now a little note, uh, before we get started, this builds on the previous video. If you're jumping straight to this video, I'm gonna show you what we've done. Basically what we did was, we took the model, we used the quick selection tool, which is this one here, to make a selection around the model. Then we copied and pasted onto its own layer, all by itself, okay, you can see here on its own layer. Then we put some type in between, the top layer and the bottom layer, and that's where we get started in this tutorial. Now we want to do this and get it to kind of weave in and out. Let's get started. Okay, to get started, open up the file that you were working on earlier. Okay, remember we cut this uh, woman out and we put text behind her. Um, if you didn't do it, okay, and you're just jumping straight to this video, you can open up the exercise file. Okay, it's called Layer Mask 03 and you can just start with my version here. All right, like we did in the last tutorial where we just painted, remember we did the half and half, okay, where it was half new renovation, half old. We're gonna do this exact same thing here. So what we're gonna do is make sure that you've got the model layer selected. And if you are just jumping back into this, we've actually cut uh, this woman out, okay, of the background. She's still there in the background, okay, but we've kind of broken her out so that there's text in between. So with the top layer selected, just like we did with the last tutorial, we've got no selection, we're just gonna hit layer mask. And remember, our layer mask is white, means it's not doing anything at the moment until I paint it with my paintbrush using black. Okay, if it's not black, hit this little icon, click this double arrow to switch it around to make sure black is at the front. Now in terms of brush sizes, uh, it doesn't really matter in this case, it's, um, it's pretty forgiving. So any old size-ish, any old, anything around 50 or 60. Hardness, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna have mine up reasonably high. Because what you'll see is, watch this, I'm gonna paint across there, and across there, and across there. So what I'm doing though, it looks perfect, right? You're like, oh, how did that happen? It's because once we turn the bottom layer off, you'll see, and the text layer, basically I just cut a big hole in the leg. I didn't really care where the edges was, because the text is there, and then the background fills in that last little gap. It's a neat trick. Now you just gotta decide what you want in there. So make sure you're on the right layer, okay? and make sure you're working on the mask. Okay, so it's got the little line around the outside, got a black paintbrush, and just paint out some bits. Those two little things work for me. If you're working on your own bit of text, okay, um, you might have put your own name or used your own font. Yours is gonna be different from this, so you might have to experiment with what works and what doesn't. I love that we're getting to a stage now in the course where we're starting to kind of, I don't know, double back on some things and add a little bit of extra, don't wanna say the word pizzazz, pizzazz came into, head, came into my head, let's not call it pizzazz, a little bit of magic, let's call it magic. Like always, I'd love to see what you've done, okay, if you've got different type, I'd like to see how you've kind of got it interacting. So share it here in the comments or in the project section, or if you're brave enough, send it up onto Instagram, I am bring your own laptop, tag me in it, I'd love to see what you've done. Onwards to the next course. Hi, it's me again. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up really helps me and what I'm doing. Um, also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel because I release a video like this every week. Um, also know that this is part of my larger course. Okay, so this is like a free part of it. There's a larger course called Photoshop Essentials. So you could go check that out. There's a link in the description for that full course. Also know that there's exercise files. Those are free to download. Go Go check that out, link in the description. Another link in the description will be the cheat sheet. So I make it like a PDF uh, cheat sheet for Photoshop with all the tips and tricks you can print off and stick next to your computer and be more awesome. Link in the description. <laughs> yeah, all right, that's enough. Uh, hi, Dada.